Welcome to This Is Fake. In this episode, we're going to be unboxing the SH Fig Arts Michael Jackson Bandai bootleg. So make sure you stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of This Is Fake. In this episode, I'm going to be unboxing the SH Fig Arts Michael Jackson Bandai action figure that they came out with. But this is the bootleg that we have here. And it seems pretty good from what I'm seeing so far. I don't know if you guys checked out my other video that I already did. I did a video on the Super Saiyan Guy Goku SH Fig Arts action figure. And that was pretty bad. This is the head from from it, but uh, make sure you hit that video to see how the first video of This Is Fake went. With this one, I'm going to be unboxing this one and showing you guys what I got. I'm also going to be dropping another episode of Fake vs. Real, so keep your guys' eyes open. I'm going to be giving you guys quite a bit more videos, and with these ones, how this one came about is that... I bought these and I was trying to get the action figures to the real action figures to do the fake versus real but they just cost too much for these ones with this one the real one comes with stickers on the bottom a warning label here sticker but other than that it has the logos and I don't have the reel to compare it to though and the only thing I can tell you is that it does come with those stickers a lot of the uh, Japan action figures and all that come with stickers on them to say where who they were made by and warning labels for all the small pieces let's open this up the box they got pretty accurate though from what I was looking at online his stance is all messed up though the tape is over onto the plastic holding it down right here pretty sure they wouldn't figure I wouldn't do that and the tape is yellow on it if you can see that so um figure arts isn't gonna send out a toy like that from my recollection for everything I bought from them all right so there goes the first piece that's pretty cool so that even got the down on the bottom sorry all the writings bandai writings and I know this one is fake a hundred percent I bought this one a little while back but this costed me like 15 20 bucks so there's no possible way the real one is very expensive and I didn't buy this when it first came out let's get them out the package it don't look bad too so far but that's how the Goku one started out started out real bad out the gate <laughs> so let me show you the figure and see just like that hand missing so let's see if this hand will stick up in there all right so I got that hand in there very stiff his head really doesn't move his neck is a nasty bulge right there I don't like how his neck is. And then his hair is <laughs> a little... Yeah, that's weird. So, let's have his head up real quick. Look at his face. Don't look too good. I wish I could have the real one next to it to compare it to, but the ball joints are horrible. And see, it sucks because this one I don't want to break because I want to at least, I would like to build a little diorama for him. See, the paint's all messed up. Because you don't need much with this. You just need him to be in his position. But the ball joints are horrible on the arms. Elbows are horrible. I guess let's go through the articulation real quick. Um, That's up down let me see if I can even get these arms out so yeah it's on a ball joint ah god damn it there we go let me see 
Yeah, that piece popped out right there. But, I don't know. Off top, pretty horrible toy. Um, this is his chest. Forward, back, and there's his head. So, these are some real class A bootlegs right here. The ball joints are just horrible. Look at the ball joints on there. His foot ball joints. Head pops off real quick. Um, then I think you can pull the so you pull the ball joints out. There you go. So at least that popped out easy. I mean that's not always a good thing. So that popped out and it comes with Two of his feet so they can lean. Let's see if I could get it in there. So that's on it. That ain't that bad. That that looks pretty cool for when it's, sta it's a standstill, but like I said, the ball joints on it are just horrible right there. I like the stand. Like I said, it'll be cool to make a little diorama of like a bar or something but all around the toy is horrible so far broken so this is the jacket the different jacket let's try seeing what this looks like and so it does pop off right here let's see how easy it pops off holy sh shoot so there that ain't bad and then it comes with an extra head too so let's look at that head real quick and some extra hands so this is the other head if I could pop it on so if you want it to be like a decoration toy, I guess it could be, you know, or if you want to modify it and all that, because it would be pretty cool to modify if you could do something to cover up these damn ball joints and all that. I would like to see what the real looks like, but the real version of this goes for about $200, $150, and I'm not trying to spend that just to open it up and put it back in the box comes with some extra hands like I said and I, I like this part this is pretty cool though when, especially when you get him to stand like that so I'm gonna mess around with him a little bit but all around it all the stuff just pops off it pops off a little bit too easy um, his hair on the other one he doesn't have no hair in the back right here so I don't know if you're supposed to let me see if I'm gonna break it on camera no I think this was supposed to pop out I think that was supposed to pop out his hair because it is not doing it for me so that was it man till next time this was another episode of this is fake make sure you check out the other episodes I'm gonna be dropping some fake verse reels so make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom and trying to get to 7,000 now. So thank you everybody for the support, getting me over 6,000. Till next time, we out. Peace.